Animals have long been associated with the British royal family, but whilst horses, hunting dogs and corgis might be the first ones you think of when you imagine royal pets, there have been some much more unusual creatures. In the last 12 months, over a third of UK households reported owning at least one dog. And this passion is something that's shared by our royal family. Queen Elizabeth II is well known for her love of dogs, particularly Pembroke Welsh Corgis. In fact, in her lifetime, she's owned over 30 of them. And she is one of the longest established Corgi breeders in the world. But Elizabeth II isn't the only monarch with canine fever. King Edward VII loved his dogs so much that he commissioned Fabergé to make models of them. One such model is that of Caesar, a famously smelly wire fox terrier who accompanied Edward everywhere and wore a collar that stated, I belong to the king. Before this, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert owned multiple dogs. Two of the most well-known are a greyhound named Eos, who accompanied Prince Albert from Germany, and a cavalier King Charles Spaniel named Dash. Like our current queen, Victoria was well known for her love of dogs, and actually showed six of her Pomeranians at Crufts in 1891. Mary, Queen of Scots, owned multiple dogs during her reign, one of which hid in her skirts during her execution, and had to be carried away after getting blood on its fur. There's a lot of disagreement about the breed, but some suggestions include Maltese and Sky Terrier. Other than a few mildly interesting stories, these pets have all been fairly normal so far. But what else have our royals kept? Birds have been just as common as dogs. Edward VII and his wife Queen Alexandra kept cockatoos and songbirds during their reign. George V had a parrot called Charlotte, whose cage is often seen in photographs with him. And Queen Victoria had a beloved parrot named Laurie, who she once compared to her mother's grey parrot in her journal. Things get slightly more unusual when we look at gifted animals, and it wasn't just kings and queens who received animals as presents. Starting small, Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret were given a chameleon by Lord Mountbatten in their childhood years. Queen Victoria's second daughter, Princess Alice, was given a pet lamb named Millie on her fifth birthday. Princess Anne, however, received perhaps the most impressive pet in recent years. In April 1956, Soviet leaders Nikita Khrushchev and Nikolai Bulganin sent her a three-month-old bear cub named Nikki. Monkeys were another common royal pet. They were frequently seen at the Royal Menagerie in the Tower of London and in portraits of the royals themselves. Famously, Catherine of Aragon, Henry VIII's first wife, was pictured with a monkey. The roots of the Royal Menagerie start with Henry I, who, according to William of Malmesbury, asked foreign kings to send him animals not found in England. Henry gathered a collection of lions, leopards, lynxes, camels, even porcupines, and kept them in a private walled park called Woodstock. This was eventually moved to the Tower by King John, where further animals were added. Henry III was responsible for many of those additions. He contributed three leopards, gifted from the Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II in 1235, a white bear from the King of Norway in 1252, and an African elephant from King Louis IX in 1255. London citizens got plenty of opportunity to see these royal pets, particularly the polar bear, who was taken by a handler to the River Thames for the opportunity to swim and fish every day. Henry's bear wasn't the only royal pet that required handlers, though. George III was gifted a cheetah named Miss Jenny by the Governor-General of Madras, Sir George Pigneau. Painter George Stubbs famously depicted her wearing a red bonnet alongside her handlers. The Mad King eventually re-gifted Miss Jenny to his uncle, the Duke of Cumberland. But the interesting stories about her don't stop there. One story suggests Cumberland staged a stag hunt in Windsor Great Park, only for Miss Jenny to run away. She was eventually recaptured by her handlers. Throughout the history of our royal family, animals have served as pets, sporting tools, and political gifts, but they were also clear status symbols. 
owning exotic animals allowed kings and queens to emphasise the power of their political network, as well as their diplomatic relations, and it was a great show of wealth. They may not have always kept their wilder pets as close as their dogs and parrots, but even living in a palace, you probably wouldn't want to share it with a lion. Mm -hmm.